I thought it'd be good to review our Ford Transit 12 passenger van. It's, it's a uh, 3.7 liter and uh, it's a 350. It's a 2015, year 2015 model, which is the kind of the oldest model for this size, I believe. Maybe it's 2014, but I'm pretty sure it's 2015. We got this used with over 100,000 miles. I had uh, done a lot of research. It took me about six months of research options uh, beyond Ford uh, for our big family and situation. Uh, we have a family of 10, so that means uh, we were looking for a uh, 12 to 15 passenger. Didn't really want a 10 passenger. Uh, suburbans and others just didn't seem like the right fit. I grew up with suburbans. I grew up with old types of vans, so I really wanted to, um, if we could, with our budget, uh, purchase a van that would last a long time and service well and be easy maintenance, good gas mileage, and all. I mean, there's a lot of factors. So, what it came down to is me finding uh, the what I would consider a new van for us. This is our newest car that we've ever purchased. And uh, we purchased this in 2017. And it has it has done great. Now there's been a few things that I've had to fix and I've shared that on the other YouTube videos. Uh, but it's it's overall great for us. So when I looked at these vans, I started to notice uh, various options uh, sizes um, and all that. So for us, we we needed a van that was that would fit our family, and it would kind of be flexible, both with our budget, our time, our situation, size, uh, and all that. And again, I kept coming back to the Ford Transit. And when I found this used over a hundred thousand miles, and asked. Uh, a lot of friends. I've had one friend, especially that he's been a mechanic for a long time, especially on Fords. He loves Fords, has owned uh, mechanic auto parts, and he said that these were made to go uh, up to 500,000 miles, which was encouraging to me. Um, and interesting, I had uh, kind of on a, a side note, uh, I was dealing with a DMV when we first bought it, and the lady at the window said, uh, hey, you. This this is uh recorded as commercial since we had got it from. It was used for a dealership as their shuttle van, uh. But she said, hey, this this needs to be turned back to passenger or automobile, uh, like the other vans, and it turned into one awful situation to where the manager of our DMV, uh, just really treated us awful and made this process horrible. And she said, it looked commercial. <laughs> this is only going to be used for commercial. And we're like, what? No, it's not. <laughs> it's just crazy. But it took me, uh, finally, we, we live in the state of California. I talked to uh, six CHP officers, including commercial. And they all were so confused, th meaning, DMV should never have done what they did, and uh, after an inspection and confirmation, finally it was recorded as a passenger automobile, and that meant we pay lower registration fees, and it we should never have done that. So it took me literally about, uh, I think it was like two months, probably a good eight hours or more with DMV visits, waiting, all that. I'm, I think that's minimum. So. <laughs> to some that might uh, be seen, might see as a commercial or cargo, uh, but this is a passenger van, as you'll see through some of the other photos that I'm going to start to show. And I wanted a van that had side open doors instead of the sliding doors. And I did not want, I've seen, I've just grown up with, with vans, so I've seen sliding doors on hills. Uh, just even go past their breaking point where you know there's a stopper in there and somehow it becomes loose and then wham some kid's hand gets hit or someone's leaning up against the van and they get hit on the side I just I didn't want that and one of the side doors um, as it can swing open low but it does not have the 
the quickness and the veracity and the weight behind it. Um, there can still, things can still happen, but I felt like the two side doors opening were a great option and love the, the tinted windows. And we got one that had vinyl flooring. It's kind of the plasticky flooring because I just, I knew we would have a lot of stuff that would hit the ground. <laughs> so it's easy to clean for us. And as you can see, as I open these uh, doors, that you can see the room in here. Now the seats, we we didn't have an option on the seats, but beyond that, we can actually purchase our own seats. And many of the newer models have adjustable seat backs and armrest. And so if we wanted to pay a little bit more, we could replace the seats that we have. We get the seats cleaned each year. We wax the paint uh, each year. It's a it's a wax bar and uh, they do we hire a company that does that and it's it's it lasts the whole year so which is great um the outside borders the the black uh lines the plastic stuff like the bumper and the side barriers those are fading and so we'll have to probably paint that here soon uh, i would like it to be black and match the windows and all that kind of stuff we just replaced the tires for the first time when we got it. Uh, they put new tires on there, so that lasted uh, quite a bit, probably about um, 30,000, 40,000 miles. Felt like that there were kind of the minimal warranty tires. So we put a 50,000 mile warranty tire on there for, um, you know, that includes on the road and, and s minimal snow kind of a thing and it was economical it was you know it wasn't i would like it to be cheaper meaning less expensive not less quality but so far the van has done well for us we got it for like half the cost of a new vehicle has some dents in it on the kind of the top roof side but we're willing to work with that so when you look inside the van you see the seats and you see the vinyl flooring there's quite a bit of room as an uh, as an adult it gets kind of less roomy it's great for kids uh but overall it's great the air conditioner and heater it normally takes uh roughly about 1 2 minutes at most and it cools easily heats easily uh and the um that's great for especially driving long distances the one downside we would like is to have the windows open or openable somehow, whether they go down or they can just open. I've seen reviews that have shared that, and there's also other issues. There could be leaks, you know, there could be break-ins. So at some point we might change that, but that's an extra cost, and so that just has to fit our budget. But until then, uh, it's the AC and the heater works well throughout the entire van. There's controls for the front and the back. Uh, very easy. When you get in the front, passenger and driver's seat feels like you're kind of in a cockpit. It's wide open, feels freeing. You could see easily all around you from the side mirrors uh, to the review mirror to the massive windows, which is tremendous. And when you go all the way around to the back, you start to see there's a lot of storage room. And we fit our, our entire family in the back when we first got it. Uh, we drove it, um, uh, got it from um, L.A. area and drove it up north. And as soon as we pulled in that night, we got in there and took a picture. It was, it was great. The, uh, the, door, the back doors, they adjust to where they unhook and they can fold almost all the way back. And it's... There's a magnet that holds it to the side. And so ours is on a kind of a, a you know uphill driveway, slanted driveway. And the magnets hold that. It's, it's great. So if you're in a situation where you need a lot of room, uh, packing stuff, unpacking stuff, it, there it is. There's some seats. There's uh, seats that are bench seats. And then there's seats that are individual seats. And I've seen some vans that have individual seats installed. And you can create a middle aisle all the way through. 
So if you did a 15 passenger van, uh, you could have two seats in the very back against the walls and you can have an aisle. So you can have an aisle where you could go from the back to uh, the side double doors or you can enter the side double doors and go all the way to the back doors. So I thought that was a great idea. Uh, we just, we, again, that's not part of our budget. We got what we could for the time being. And that would be helpful, especially in an emergency. But still, you can climb over the seats. The issue is if there's an emergency and the, and the van rolls, the, um, the roof could cave in. And so that kind of pinches the back. So the, the windows are built so that they would bust open. So there's actually a lot of room to uh, get out through the windows, even if they're bent. And uh, you have the side doors, the front windshield. So there's a lot of room. We have with us uh, the window breakers. And that, that you know, unless we fly, we gotta, we gotta have to remove it from our keychains. We try to keep it inside the van as well. So the van overall is a great van from the gas mileage that we got. That's uh, 11 to 19 miles to the gallon. Normally it's about 12 to 20. If we're around town speeding around, you know, it's uh, 11 to 12. If we're on the freeway, we'll get from 15 to 21. Literally, it is great. Especially if we're just coasting along on um on uh you know autopilot um i'm forgetting what's what the name for it is yeah autopilot uh but it's it, we go till 18 19 miles to the gallon sometimes it hits 2021 20, which is tremendous so if you're looking for a van that will fit uh this fits all parking spots for the most part better than any other van the steering radius is awesome we can do u-turns i mean unless it's a really tight u-turn even for cars but if it's a kind of a fairly normal u-turn we can we can u-turn it and i can park it reverse out of it we can fit in parking garages uh there's only one parking garage that was in downtown that was incredibly low I mean, it was like made just for cars, basically, like small cars, and we couldn't fit that. But other than that, we fit everything um, from Walmart parking spots to other grocery stores to small coffee shop parking spots. Uh, the issue is when it's really narrow parking uh, areas, uh, where it's real thin, both on entry and entry into the parking spot, that can get a little hairy, but you can uh, do like an 18 point pull out, <laughs> if you will. Uh, but again, this has a tremendous, um, option for big families to anybody needing commercial vans for passenger reasons. That's, you know, church school, uh, businesses. This is a great option and seems to have, have lasted us for uh, a long time. And we're hoping to at least get 10 years. 10 years out of it, if not more. And we're keeping up with the oil changes every uh, 5,000 miles. Some say 7,000, but we're, we're going for 5,000. And we're keeping it waxed to, to preserve the paint as, as best we can. We've got a code reader to identify any issues as best we can so we can work on it ourselves as much as we can. It is easy to work on, but difficult to find solutions. There's the owner's manual that has, you know, mechanical, you know, where you can find the problems. They provide some pictures, but it doesn't have everything. But to get to things, it seems actually fairly easy, and that's great. Uh, taking it into the dealership, man, they just have a high cost. And, I, you know, I am I understand earning an income, but at some point, that's it's just too high, especially if you got to keep going back in. It's just not manageable, at least for kind of an average family. So especially a big family, right? But other other than that, I would say this is a, a four to five star out of five stars van. I'm kind of shocked because I'm used to growing up with having issues with Ford. <laughs> There's always the jokes about Fords. I get it. We're a, normally a Toyota family. I've grown up with Toyotas from Land Cruisers to pickup trucks to cars. 
uh, Sequoia Forerunner even. So this is our first Ford, and it it has done it has done fantastic for us with some minor issues. So uh, yeah, let me know in the comments uh, what you think, and and uh, if you share the same kind of review. Uh, and if you have any other questions that I can fill in for you, okay? Thanks. Bye.